All right, my name's Calvin. I'm going to show you how to turn your door panels from this to this. Calvin Ariol in the CX Racing FCRX7. Ooh, Calvin. It's exploding up front bumper. As it says on his windshield, dang. Uh-oh. Got the car out on the driveway because we're working on a special project today. The material I'm going to use is in this box. What could it be? Some stuff. And the plan is to use that to replace this. So yeah, I'm gonna make uh, door cards. Okay, lucky for me, most of the work has been done, or not done, just because I never put on the handle and any of these accessories after I painted these doors, so probably held in by like one clip. Let's make sure to use a trim tool because these panels are made out of like particle board and they rip very easy, like that. I already messed that up. Get this to the drawing board. Only thing I'm worried about is this curvature and this hooks into the panel. And what we're using for material here, very thin, 1.5 millimeter or 0.06. So I have about four of these panels. Obviously I'm gonna trace it and cut it on the other side. To save me on time, I could just line up the edge of this to the edge of the door panel. Yeah, I would need to put a, a bend in that door card. And to simplify my bends, maybe I could just put like a 90 degree. And this is one of the main things that rattle. We'll just put some insulation behind there. I was going to try to save these door panels, but they're pretty bad. Okay, unraveling this, we get this nice, very crispy, messy panel. Looking how this fits using new and old parts, it's not going to look good. So I'm just going to cut out the panel and try to bend this material. What we will do is measure the height of this. Let's say about 21 inches. Okay, we have our soapstone here. Take that off and we'll measure about 21. Right, not sure how this is gonna cut, but we'll make a test cut. Okay, that's a pretty clean cut. Measure twice, cut once. Let's just check this real quick. Obviously, I didn't mark the hole for the window roller. I just have to cut out the rest of the holes and that'll give me a better idea on the fit up. All that work with our soapstone and here I am just using a sharpie. Door handle, window crank. Good enough. Why? Because that's going to sit in there. Okay, back outside here. Yeah, it looks like stuff lines up. I would need to take one inch off and then bend it. Not the cleanest cut, but it's not for the cleanest car either i'm gonna have to figure out how to put a little bend in here all i need to do is heat it up and push it down i guess i was quickly not liking this so my other idea is to flip this around put a scribe on that line and it should bend a lot easier Found a piece of this angled aluminum will give me a cleaner edge. When I heat this up, it's going to not heat up this piece. So I'm hoping to get this thing soft enough to bend and not warp.
Okay, so I've decided to straighten it back out and just cut it on that line because I don't have the right tool to do this large piece. Test fitting this again. I like that. Just gonna have to make a nice panel on top. If it fits, it chips. What I've done is drill out pilot holes for each of these clips. I wanna say it's eight mil, maybe just a little bigger. A little deeper. This is great. We're gonna get 12 clips and we're gonna install this. One, two. I could use a cool leather strap, but I realized the last time I went to the track, I hit my elbow on the roll cage. I kinda like a real handle. All right, am I satisfied? For what I paid for the panels, yes. I should have really tried harder on that band. Mm, no, it's fine. But all in all, not too shabby. I spent a lot of time on that first panel. I already have an idea of what I need to do. So we're just gonna zoom right through the second panel. Okay, so my life would have been easier if I just moved my car over. Anyways, what I didn't show you is me putting foam tape everywhere, so. Listen, and then over every little bump, you hear this. So we have this ducting from Amazon. We're gonna slap it. It's already better. Let's continue with that stuff. Okay, let's say this is faster when you know what you're doing already. That didn't take long at all. Monza spec, M spec window rollers. I was going to slap these puppies on, but they need a little bit of modification. So now I got to do these rear panels. I mean, ideally, I would like to lay this down flat and trace it directly off of this. I would technically have to repair this. That's why we got the hot glue gun. If you're wondering why this is ripped, to get it out in between the roll cage, it needed to be a little acrobatic. That hot glue is really hot in the name. Don't burn your fingertips. Okay, so look at this. This thing looks brand new. Even then, I should probably trace this onto another piece of cardboard to test fit in there. I'm probably gonna mess this up. Okay, there it is. Let's test fit it. Oh, just hit my head on my car. Luckily I have this cool beanie to protect my head right dang pretty much like that i have a little more room on the wheel well okay let's redo this and i can just do one of these okay this is pretty much arts and crafts
drill a hole just because I won't be able to make that radius. You can see how the panel turned out. We got a clip here, a clip here, and one up here. And the past has come back to haunt me. I can see the pencil rod I used to not burn a hole. I can see the outside. And I can see these terrible welds from this quarter panel repair. Nothing fancy, just a quick spray. Coming back to this panel, you would think that it would fit because it's the same panel. I'm going to say this panel is good to go. It's a good thing that I think about this stuff sometimes. So I thought, okay, the texture has to be on this side. I don't want to cut it upside down. Well, obviously this is not a mirror image. This is just it rotated. And I was about to just cut out the panel like this. This would have been just another passenger side. This wouldn't have fit the driver's side. Unless I wanted the smooth side. I was trying to orient this to where I could squeeze out. See, I almost did it wrong again. Okay, well, obviously I'm going to reuse this sheet for other things, but we're going to have to grab a new sheet. Okay. Driver side. This panel will fit the driver side. We just have to think about it because I feel like this is a real quick way to mess it up. Take a break to eat Taco Bell and you forget everything. Okay. Okay, so... This is what I'm going to mark, and this is what I'm going to cut out. Alright, so I've already done some fine-tuning here. Deburred the edges. Made it as flat as I could. I slide it in between the roll cage. Push it past just because I can't put the seat forward and then I just slide it back and obviously I would want to respray all these all the trim here preferably black then my interior would be all mixed and mashed and perfection and here's how it looks Still need to make that upper filler panel. No biggie. This is a one inch by one inch angled aluminum. One sixteenth, eight feet long. It was only $10. I didn't want to bring my tape measure or calipers. I pretty much drew out my ruler. Let's say 37. <laughs> Pretty much just gonna have this slide over and hook okay so the plan is to cut out a piece like this ouch okay to cut a piece like this and I'm gonna pretend it's not hot right now then that's gonna slide onto this thing and that's gonna hook onto that guy So I gotta drill these. We have resorted to welding. Don't mind that. I dipped the tungsten and it kept going and it cleaned up. And then, yeah. Still dip the tungsten, but it looks a little better. Let's test fit this. Let's see. That looks good. I like that. Reminds me of like an arcade cabinet or something. Okay, so I got this panel in here right behind. Of course, I'm going to paint it first. Just got to clean that up. 
looking pretty snazzy. I'll do a part two where I do the back seats and the rest of those fill panels. Do a breakdown of what everything costs. The actual ABS plastic, the big sheets, the two by fours, it came with four of them. That was about 65 bucks. The angle aluminum from Industrial Metal, that was also probably like 10 bucks. If you thought this was dumb or helpful or entertaining, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.